Well, more women are excelling in careers that used to be reserved mainly for men. It's not uncommon to find a female doctor here in Utah, but it, as far as dentistry goes, women are lagging behind. Yeah, they're few and far between, but there is one female dentist who's taking advantage of those numbers. Mary Nichols has her story. Good morning, JR. I'm Dr. Florence. How are you this morning? Dr. Amy Florence started a dental practice in Sandy a few months ago with everything from checkups to full mouth reconstruction. She had a practice in Ohio for years and found something strange when investigating Utah dentistry. When we started doing the research about buying a practice in Utah and kind of looking for jobs, I was very surprised to see that the percentage of female dentists in Utah was only 2%. The study she looked at shows most states have on average over 20% of practicing dentists dentists women so single digits here was odd dental school is four years so you still do have the opportunity to have children and start a family in your you know mid to late 20s she and her husband have four kids in elementary school and she says half of her graduating class from dental school was female as far as she knew the feminine touch was a good thing for a dentist when they see a very unintimidating you know lady that's going to be working on them I think that it, it suppresses some of that fear and anxiety for them helps. People lose their teeth two ways. It's either from decay or from bone loss. Dr. Florence hopes that people afraid of the dentist won't be afraid of her. If you catch a cavity before it gets too big, it's a lot less expensive and a, and a lot less invasive. And you know, a half an hour, $150 visit, if you catch a cavity earlier, um, is much more pleasant and simple than you know an hour-long root canal you know eight or nine hundred dollar visit she says the response in utah has been very positive and they hope it gets more people to get back on track for healthy teeth mary nichols for check your health